Hi guys and welcome to another 3ds Max quick tip video. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how I've made this custom toolbar over on the side um, and how I've linked um, uh, the buttons to launch external programs. Um, I find this useful if um, you know I'm working in 3ds Max and I quickly want to open up a texture in Pixplant or Crazy Bump or Photoshop or whatever. Um, I just click that button, keep working in doing whatever I'm doing in 3ds Max while the application loads in the background. Um, it's just a bit quicker than going start programs, Photoshop, whatever. Um, all right, so first of all, basically you just want to go to customize, customize user interface. Um, and under toolbars, we want to create a new one. So just hit new and call it whatever you want. Um, let's call this one external programs. Hit OK. And now you get this little new toolbar. Um, doesn't have anything in it though. So what we need to do is go to Max Script, New Script. And we're just going to write a new script. These are really simple scripts, so it's nothing to advance. But basically what we're going to use is the shell launch command. So, S-H-E-L-L, capital L-A-U-N-C-H. Basically what the shell launch uh, command does is it emulates the double clicking of an item. Um, so by saying utilize shell launch and do it on this, on a certain um, application, basically it's telling Windows to double click and load that application. Um, so what we need to do is our first um, string that we're going to put in is the file name. So just put double quotation marks and in this case I'm going to create a After Effects button because I haven't got one up there. So just find out where it's installed basically. So like we'll just see Ah, program files because I'm using 64-bit Autodesk. Oh, sorry, not Autodesk. We're looking for Adobe. Uh, let's go After Effects support file. Oh, no, nope, it's right there. No, that's a shortcut. All right, let's just find out where this is linking to. It's in the support files. Okay, so support files, and scroll down After Effects.exe. That is what we want basically. So we're just going going to copy this actual location and just paste that into our max script and we want to put another backslash because that's only the location of the folder that it's in and write after effects.exe and close that out with some more quotation marks um, now this won't work just by itself because the shell launch command actually has um, two parameters, so the first one which we just inputted then is the file name um, and the second one is a parameters string but we don't want to get into flags or opening anything like that um, so basically we just want to because um, we're not actually going to use the parameters string we just want to put two more sets of um, double quotations there so now we just need to select all of that and I'm just going to find my toolbar first. Here it is. Oops, where'd you go? Okay, so I'm just going to select all of that. And where my toolbar is, I'm just going to click and drag onto my toolbar. And that creates this new little button. If I was to execute that button, it would open up um, After Effects. But I'll just show you quickly with Pixplant. So if I just click my little icon, let it load, say I'm still working in 3ds Max or whatever, and here we go, here's Pick Plant opened up. Um, it'll do the same thing for After Effects, I just didn't want to do it, open it because it will take a while to load. Um, so basically once, I'll just hide this one. Um, once you've created your icons, all you have to do is just stick your toolbar wherever you want. You can mount it up the top here, um, mount it across the side where is, which is where I have one. Um, so yeah, that's basically the command that you need to 
actually execute the um, program. Um, so yeah, I'll do another video on how I actually went about creating the icons. Um, but yeah, that's just how you can create the actual link to the icon uh, to the program itself. So hope that's been helpful for you. Cheers.